in this video we will rationalize the denominator of the given fraction so we have 1 upon the square root of 12 and in order to rationalize the denominator we will multiply it by square root of 12 and divide it by square root of 12 now 1 multiplied by square root of 12 is a square root of 12 upon square of a square root of 12 because the square root of 12 multiplied by square root of 12 can be written as square of a square root of 12 <clears throat> now we can cancel this square root and square so we have square root of 12 upon 12 now why we can cancel this square root and square so in order to understand this thing we will write a square of a square root of 12 and by the definition of a square root we can write 12 raised to the power 1 upon 2 because a square root means anything has power 1 upon 2 and the whole thing has power 2 because there is power 2 and now by the rule of indices we can multiply the power so we will multiply 1 upon 2 by this 2 now we can cancel this 2 and this 2 so we have 12 raised to the power 1 and 12 raised to the power 1 is 12 now we have a square root of 12 upon 12 <coughs> now again we have to simplify square root of 12 so for this we will factorize 12 so first we will divide it by 2 so we have 2 multiply by 6 is 12 and then again divide by 2 so we have 3 and then 3 divided by 3 is 1 so 12 can be written as 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 3 so we have a square root of 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 3 upon 12 now this can be written as 2 square multiply by 3 under root upon 12 now we know that square root of a multiply by b is equal to square root of a multiply by square root of b by the rule of indices so this can be written as square root of 2 square multiply by square root of 3 upon 12 now again we can cancel this square root and square by this same property so we have 2 multiply by square root of 3 upon 12 and now we can cancel this 2 and this 12 so we have 6 in the denominator and 1 multiply by root 3 is root 3 upon 6 and this is the required answer